The President of Democratic Republic of Congo, Felix Tshisekedi, has figuratively revealed that it is time to wage a war on Rwanda after elucidating that democratic process is no longer a promising option to restore peace in the eastern part of his country. Tshisekedi made the revelation in the evening of Thursday, 3rd November 2022, as he delivered state of the nation address he delivered the remarks at a time when the fighting between congolese soldiers and m23 rebel group is ongoing tshikedi has called on all citizens security personnel and politicians among others to unite against m23 and defend territorial integrity tshikedi said that the rebel group is receiving support from rwanda in terms of resources and reinforcement troops Congolese army, in collaboration with the democratic forces for the liberation of Rwanda, continues to lose bases during the ongoing fighting with M23 rebel group. The defeat has seen Congolese citizens and politicians externalizing the country's problems and accuse Rwanda of supporting the rebel group, a claim which the latter has repeatedly rejected. The accusations were followed by protests against Rwanda where Congolese continue to speak ill of the neighboring country instead of exerting pressure on the national army to quell rebels. M23 resumes fighting early this year, requesting DRC to implement signed peace accords to give leadership positions to members of the group as a gesture to put an end to discrimination against the Kinyarwanda speaking people in the country. DRC failed to respect the peace accord signed in 2013, rebelled M23 as a terrorist group and, re and refrained from engaging in talks with its members. Congolese army is gradually losing different bases to M23 which continues to advance towards Goma town after capturing strategic areas including Bunagana, Lushu, Lushuru and Rumangabo among others.